Hello again. In this video we're going to talk about simulation mode in Easy Builder Pro. This video will cover offline simulation, online simulation, COM settings, Easy Watch and CMT Viewer Diagnoser. I've gotten a few questions lately regarding simulation mode. Um, there's actually two forms of simulation mode. There's on and offline simulation. Now one thing to remember is that what you're simulating is the use of the HMI itself. PC is taking the place of your HMI for testing purposes and you have a 10 minute runtime limit on online simulation. So uh, the first thing we need to do to make sure we have a, a successful online simulation is to make sure that we have our COM settings right. Our, of course, in our system parameter settings here on, on the device tab, our PLC settings. Naturally, this is the IP address or the COM port settings for the device that the HMI is talking to. In this case, we're using an Ethernet driver on a uh, Fatec FBS series PLC. And uh, I've got a little program here running, a simple little program, and as you can see, it's online. So all of that's good, and we know that matches up. A good rule of thumb is if uh, your PC will connect to your PLC, then in simulation mode online it should uh, connect without problem. So uh, here I've got a couple of uh, standard objects here you know to turn this rung off and on and display the status of it. So I'll go ahead and do a quick online simulation. And uh, let me get out of this where we can see everything at once. And uh, as you can see we're on so I hit our stop button and uh, that turns this off. Start button turns us on. So uh, it's a good way to uh, test your your project and see how it works and uh, make sure everything's good to go. Uh, we ha also have another uh, tool. This is uh, actually a simulation of an IE series uh, HMI. Uh, so uh, in this we actually use the easy diagnoser so we can go ahead and run it and uh, and it's already connected and let's see we want to look at our uh, uh, PLC values and uh, we'll look for Y zero and we'll just make the range real narrow here to just the one we want we do capture and uh, you see there's uh, no errors and this is the response time uh, on the on the connection. Uh, now I'm going to reach down and unplug the Ethernet cable from my local NIC. And you see we got an error here and obviously we're not talking at all. So uh, plug it back in and we'll see it reconnect and there now we're talking uh, PLC went offline so uh, that's your easy diagnoser uh, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, on how that works and now I'm going to go ahead and um, convert this project to uh, to a CMT series so uh, we can see how the uh, how the the CMT diagnoser works. Let me switch it over to a 3090 here and uh, port 2000, and uh, we'll resize everything. Okay, so it's that simple. Uh, 
just need to go ahead and uh, save it as something and uh, we'll make this the CMT demo and we'll go ahead and run an online simulation and of course we can see the same results so all that works great uh, now uh, we have the CMT diagnoser uh, previously on the CMT platform for CMT viewer we didn't have a diagnostics tool so you would have to actually put graphic objects in your project for test purposes uh, to do any diagnostics but now we have the diagnoser and uh, it does a few cool things you can actually pull up other pages in your project right from this drop down list right here of course we only have one in this project uh, if we had macros we could execute those macros from here we can actually see the state of of our objects within the project. Let me go ahead and change states here. See it went to true, false. So a neat little comprehensive tool there. I'm sure you can imagine a lot of uses for it. So that's about it for on and offline simulation. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our short videos.